All right, prepare to be judged. Now, to be completely fair, this game really isn't all that bad. Judge Dredd is a side-scrolling, platforming, shooter-be-shot adventure through a seedy, futuristic dystopia littered with gun-toting chemists, gladiators, and generic thugs. Your only weapon is the lawgiver, and like the movie, it sports a wide variety of ammunition you can cycle through on the fly, like grenades, armor-piercing rounds, and blah 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 blah. I'm sorry, but for whatever reason, I can't get into it. This is just boring the shit out of me, and I don't know why. It's not as if the game's completely mindless or anything. I mean, you are given objectives to complete for every stage. Still, I'm just not feeling it. The AV is very well done, the overall look and feel is very faithful to the movie, and the sound is fantastic. Sound effects are crisp and clean while the music screams Sega Dream Machine 16. Yeah, that makes no sense, but it sounds like an awesome tribute band, doesn't it? Okay, whatever. There's some shit that twists my nips something fierce. First, the animation on Dread, while impressive, leads to lag in my response time. In a platformer like this, I find that unacceptable. Second, why does it take so many fucking hits to kill these bastards? Third, what the fuck is that? Where were ghosts in the movie? That's some goofy shit. I get that developers have to take some creative license when translating a film to bits and bytes, but that's a bit of a stretch. To sum up, Judge Dredd is just so-so. I can't for the life of me explain why it's totally and utterly incapable of holding my interest. It's like I saw this pretty woman walking down the street, decided to chat her up, and all I got was oh you got that's the only way I know how to describe it. It isn't the worst alone game I've ever played, or even the worst platformer. It just doesn't ring my chimes. Alright, Demolition Man for Genesis and Sega CD. This is my shit right here. This game is fucking insane. It's just non-stop action from the moment you hear... Demolition Man is a white-knuckle, pulse-pounding, adrenaline-pumping, side-scrolling, top-down shooter. It's fucking ridiculous just how many joy-joy feelings this game inspires. The gameplay is very simple and straightforward. Race through the level, killing as many bad guys as possible before you reach the end. God, just look at this. It's like someone gave Sonic a pair of guns and let him loose in a hell of our own creation. There will be instances where you have to think before you leap, like the subway stage or the parking garage, but for the most part, it's just kiss kiss bang bang. The graphics are stellar. Every level is rich with detail and brimming with human filth. That blast processor is getting a serious workout here. Music and sound effects are top notch. Gunfire and explosions rip through my speakers and punch me in the face. I was blown away the first time I heard Sly exclaim, Send the maniac to catch one. Very nice. Demolition Man isn't without its irritations though. You can't complete the game on the easiest setting. Once you make it through the wasteland level, it just stops and says, Hey fuckhead, yeah you fuckhead, stop being a pussy and beat the game on normal. Okay, it doesn't say that, but I'm reading between the lines here. What about the Sega CD version, you ask? Well, it's virtually identical to the Genesis release. Like Cliffhanger, the only major differences are the music quality and the FMV cutscenes. Why are you proceeding into the depths of Wasteland? Now, I want to go down there. I want to find Phoenix. Now, I'm going to put him in a hurt locker. All right, here's the overview. Rambo 3 is classic, Cliffhanger isn't worth a toss, Judge Dredd is a notch above mediocre, Demolition Man, like the movie it's based on, kicks ass. Period. I'm done.